A fundraiser centered around beer. The Orlando Science Center is hosting its annual Science on Tap event this weekend. So this year, it's a family-friendly event with science experiments, music, and games. And News 6 anchor and insider guide Crystal Moyer has more on how a local brewery is encouraging people to take a break from alcohol. The event brings out dozens of Central Florida breweries and vendors, but not all are serving up alcoholic beverages. Here at Leader Brewing in Palm Bay, owner Max Green has non-alcoholic beer on tap and in cans. Really into craft beer, been doing it for a long time, home brewing for 20 years. Uh, but about six years ago, I decided to take a break from drinking. Just didn't match the performance I wanted, but I missed having that craft beer experience. I missed the hops, I missed the roastiness. So he started his own business in 2021, producing three non-alcoholic beers. By definition, meaning 0.5% or less alcoholic volume in his drinks. So I've got hoppy, I've got malty, I've got roasty. The names Danger Close, Night Strike, and Tracer Fire, an ode to his military background, serving 12 years in the Marine Corps. And I wanted to kind of bring that to the forefront and, and really kind of showcase uh, strength in non-alcoholic beer. There's a lot of stigma out there about people being weak if they decide to go to non-alcoholic uh, beverages. Leader Brewing, one of dozens of Central Florida breweries participating in the Science on Tap event. Proceeds benefiting community education programs organized by the Orlando Science Center. This year's family-friendly event has lawn games, music, face painting, and hands-on science activities for kids and adults. Beer making is in itself science. Um, a lot of the early biochemistry work uh, done by Louis Pasteur was because he was trying to help a brewery figure out what made brewing work. Green showing me the process. We've got water, malted barley. Sometimes we'll add wheat or oats to the recipe. Okay. Hops and then adding yeast in at the very end. So what makes something a regular alcoholic beer versus a non-alcoholic beer? What's different with the process? I'm doing the same thing that a regular brewer does, except they're trying to get as much ethanol out of the mixture as they can. I'm trying to get as little uh, ethanol out of the mixture. Green saying his recipe and balancing active ingredients make his brews taste just like alcoholic beer. You can check out Leader Brewing at Science on Tap, supporting the Orlando Science Center on Saturday at Lock Haven Park. It's a family-friendly event, and I posted ticketing information on clickorlando.com slash insider. In the studio, Crystal Moyer, getting results, New 6. Hey, thanks, Crystal. And that's not all. Just like wine is made from grapes and beer is made from grain, mead is made from honey. If you're curious, there's a tap room in Orlando where you can try some unique flavors. You know, every culture has their own take on mead because, as you know, it's been around forever. So, um, yeah, when people come in, they might have tried it, but for the majority of people, they're trying it, you know, for the first time or at least trying a modern style for the first mm -hmm. time. And they don't realize that it can taste very different. A lot of people that come in, they're still trying it like it's the first time that they've had it because they're yeah. trying something new that they haven't had before. Very interesting. Learn more on Florida Foodie this afternoon at 3.30. Meteorologist Candace Campos had a chance to try the meat. And not on, not on shift, up, right? Not on shift. We right, weren't allowed of to have not. it during our podcast. It was, it was your assignment. It was. I, it was my homework. I took it home and it was <laughs> delicious. I had never had meat before. The science behind it, the foodie behind it. And the place looks really cool, too. That was cool my jam. Too. She, de she designed it. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. She designed it. Yeah, place. Mm -hmm. So she's actually an artist. So she... It's, Really cool story. Listen to the podcast. It's great. 